I'm struggling here. I started to delete that, but I'm not. I'm going to leave it because I'm human. And, and this is real shit. So anyway, and what I'm talking about is that I'm on the floor. I tried to set the mood. I'm really huffing and puffing because it takes a lot. Oh, my gosh, it takes a lot for me to get on the floor. And then I um, courageously did this, and I'm home alone. Luckily, um, the, the camera is right there uh, on the ottoman, so I can lean on it and <clears throat> uh, pull myself up. But, ooh, the strength that it takes to do that. I started, I was going to delete that part, but I, I don't think I will because that's my, that's being transparent. Um, now I, what I'm not going to do is show you how I get up, <laughs> but, <laughs> but, um, but the struggle is real. So I was trying to set the mood to, um, Get down and and um in 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 terms of curling up and reading a book, you know what I'm saying. So some people have like um, a reading area, maybe a study or a war room or a private um, room, a closet, um, maybe even a oh I like the look of a bay window with cushions in the the seat of the bay window with maybe some bookshelves or whatever. I love that look. Me, I don't have a particular place that I like to read. Um, and I, I really prefer to listen uh, to books instead of read them anyway, to be honest. However, I do have a newfound respect for reading books. Um, being that I am now a two-time author. Oh, <laughs> yeah, I'm still excited about that. I am a two-time author. So my first book is titled The Mo Experience, Cookbook and Autobiography. Um, and the second book is called I Decided. I'm so excited about that. Um, so anyway... I have these baskets and the difficulty of turning right there and reaching. So the basket is right beside me. However, um, I'm sitting on my left hip because I'm so thin. My tailbone protrudes and y'all never knew about a tailbone. Oh. When I lost all that weight, and got in the tub one day and I thought something shot in my behind like what is that it was pain oh my god it was pain when I um so I can't sit straight up like I'm leaning on the couch and I know Mr. Hilton is gonna figure that out because of the the inches away from the throw rug and all that stuff like he just knows Anyway, um, so I'm leaning on the couch and um, most of my weight is on my left hip. Yeah, that's it. So anyway, I'm not sitting straight up. So in order for me to reach right here beside me, I'm going to have to roll over onto that tailbone. And I don't need you to see me in that kind of uh, discomfort. So, but, but back to what I was getting at, how do you curl up? Let's try this. And I don't want to poke a hole in my basket. Here we go. Oh, oh, how do you curl up with a, a good book? Because I have created, because I am so creative, I've created some baskets. Um, with my book in it and a custom mug that says I decided, some cookies, tea, a candle, um, some little coffee, uh, coffee straws, 
what do you call those? How do you say this word? That's what I've been calling them for years. Coffee straws. Pyroline or pyroline. Pyroline or pyroline. Anyway, um, I have several items in this basket. Oh, and a blanket, right? So I have several items in this basket um, to really get you in the mood to want to curl up and read a good book. You know what I'm saying? So I've read a couple of passages out of I decided, but just bits and pieces because I didn't want to give away too much. You know what I'm saying? Because, I mean, the book is not that long. It's only about 112, 13 pages, and that includes 115, and that includes the acknowledgments. But I do want to uh, read a piece today, and I do aspire to turn um, both books into audio books as well. So this just gives me a little practice and also helps me build my confidence a little bit. And again, the book is called Traumas, Triggers, Triumphs, and Scleroderma. I Decided by Mo Monica Hilton. How did I mess that up? See, that's what I'm afraid of. That's the confidence that I need, need to build. The speaking faster and louder to mask my nervousness. Yeah, I get nervous. Um, imagine fulfilling your passion with the career of a lifetime, working your dream job for more than 20 years. Imagine rising to stardom as a reputable chef and cake artist and twice competing on national television. Then you're diagnosed with this condition that tightens your skin, stiffens your joints, and robs your hands of mobility and range of motion. Your career is over. That condition is called scleroderma, an autoimmune disease that causes hardening of the skin and potential problems in blood vessels, internal organs, and the digestive tract. In this book, I will intimately depict how scleroderma affected me physically, mentally, spiritually after the diagnosis. I will also reveal compilations of traumas, triggers, and triumphs I've endured throughout my life. Grieving the murder of my mother, surviving COVID-19 twice, and y'all, I recently just got over the flu. Ugh! They're serious about COVID and the flu being cousins. Oof. Battling feelings of worthlessness and scleroderma all sent me into this dark place, a place I kept buried inside. No one knew I was there, so no one could help pull me out. It was between me and God, and it was only up to me to get out. I decided I did not want to curl up and die. I have a lot more living to do, and I'm going to do just that. I decided to be intentional about making improvements in my mental health, my dietary health, and my physical health. In addition to prayer and meditation, I started incorporating affirmations into my daily routine. I began to speak positively to myself at the start of my day. It carried me throughout the day. When I changed the foods I'd been eating all my life, my mood, my blood pressure, and my energy improved significantly. When I decided nothing was more important than my health and wellness, I stopped making excuses and began incorporating physical therapy into my schedule twice a day. I'm sorry, twice a week. I gained a little more pep in my step one day at a time. I decided it was written to encourage readers. Quitting is not an option. Remain fearless and faithful, even in the midst of the storm. My life experiences with scleroderma. This is, this is my truth, y'all. This is my truth, and um, I'm led 
by the Spirit of God to put it in uh, in 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 tablets so that the world can go and run with it. Y'all know where that's from, right? I'm sure you do. Habak 2 and 2 says, basically, <clears throat> I'm finna write this down um, because it is, um, it's a good thing. Um, I'm talking about my life experiences with this disease that many people, it's rare and um, it's said to be rare. Many people don't know about it, but I find refuge in talking about scleroderma, how it's uh, affected my life. Um, I'm sorry, how it's affected my body and how it's changed my life. And God keeps telling me to talk. Tell the people about it. Tell the people about it. Um, and, and I'm doing just that. But uh, as I said in this intro it had me down for a minute um but i'm back y'all because god said he is not through with me yet i need you because i know you know somebody battling some type of autoimmune disease and they all do have very similar uh, symptoms uh none of the treatments let me take that back. I can't say none of the treatments, but uh, they, they have very similar symptoms, but th many of them are very, very different and they affect the body differently. What scleroderma is doing to my body is that it has discolored my, uh, my skin and tightened my skin. It's... Uh, Restricted my mobility, my uh, in my joints and, and and joints throughout my body. You see my hands, but my my entire body, um, I, I have mobility issues. Even um, cracking my toes on my left foot, my right foot, I could just ball them like that, and and you'll hear it. <laughs> my left foot has to be done manually by uh, someone giving me a foot massage. Um, so I do get very, very thorough in the description of the disease and the effects, uh, that it has caused in my body in this book, but it's not just for people with, or that know someone with scleroderma. It's for anyone battling, um, things, um, outside and within themselves and how you pick yourself up and not give up because quitting is not an option. This year, my Christmas tree is honoring those of us battling scleroderma or those of us that have loved ones. So this is um, in lieu of scleroderma awareness. My Christmas decor this year is Teal and white. Teal and June is Scleroderma Awareness Month, and teal is the color for uh, the awareness ribbon. And so when I did my June events this year, which was the launch of this book, um, we just kept the teal and added to it for the Christmas decor. So this is a great stocking stuffer. Or and or <laughs> you can get one of these baskets. Just uh, inbox me or give me a call, 404-857-7675. You can also go on my website, although I did not add the baskets to my website because it is seasonal. Uh, however, you can inbox me and I can give you shipping information and get the baskets to you as well. Uh, but you can go on the website and order this book or the Mo Experience Cookbook. I prefer you do both of them. <laughs> that would be great. But your support is greatly appreciated. A portion of the proceeds of this book throughout the holidays will go toward the uh, scleroderma research. Um, 
I do that quite often as well. So that's it. I wanted to keep this short and sweet. And y'all share this. Please, please, please share this. If you know anyone uh, going through not just scleroderma, but an autoimmune disease and their spirits are low, um, especially or if, if, you, if anybody has lost someone and, you know, because of the holiday seasons now, you know, your uh, emotions are on high, you're, you know, grab this book uh, because I think it will definitely lift your spirits. Okay, so um, happy holidays, y'all. Merry Christmas. I don't have a problem with saying Merry Christmas. <laughs> But um, but but throughout the entire holiday season, I hope you all have a blessed holiday and thank you so much for your support.